<laughs> Help. Okay. Hey guys! So it is a Saturday. I woke up super late because last night I was just like on the weird part of the internet. But anyway, so I woke up at around 12. So I just got out of the shower and your girl needs some coffee and I just got a new coffee machine so let's go make a coffee and then we can sit down and catch up and I want to show you some cool skincare stuff that I've been using lately because last week I had this mad rash all over my face like every single pore on my skin was aggravated I think it was like the makeup so I'll show you the products that I've been using and it's also a really nice day today so I'm gonna probably take you guys out to Soho with me because I'm looking for a new a new pair of boots like um, commando I want it with a heel and it seems like it's just really difficult to find those apparently <laughs> Oh my god, as you can see, I need to clean this abomination of a room. So this is my coffee situation. I actually just got this coffee machine off Amazon, um, but I haven't used it, so this is going to be a first for both of us. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, I put no sugar and no milk in it. It's just basically a shot of coffee. I kind of feel like something's strong, so we'll just go with this. So this is definitely very cool. My own little cappuccino latte maker. If you guys are interested in the coffee machine, I'll just link it below. <laughs> Random purchase. I'm also just trying to cut down sugar in my life because I know it's like something that's not that good. All right, guys. So as I was saying, like, um, I think it was about two weeks ago I got this rash from either my makeup or the skincare that I was um, using at the time I don't know what it is my whole face broke out in a rash and it's really dry and it also made me break out with like pimples and stuff as well too and it was peely it was itchy and burning and like everything that I put on it was just like <laughs> so then I like completely changed my whole skincare routine over to like clean products so clean just means like non-toxic a lot of them are just plant-based because with a lot of skincare you get now like there's still even though it's like natural there's still a lot of things that are added to it so because I was so freaked out to apply anything onto my face I just completely switched over to like brands that I knew that were completely like toxic free so I tried out this Folane clean as essentials kit it's so cute like it says I like my products like I like my people none toxic Ain't nobody got time for toxic people, right? <laughs> so anyway, basically it's got like everything you need in a skincare routine. So yeah, when I tried the cleanser, this one has algae, vitamin E, and lactic acid. It's like a gel consistency and it smells really refreshing. And I think the anti-inflammatory properties and like the nourishing properties of the vitamin E really help to like calm down the redness and itchy and flaking that was happening. So yeah, I would just use this every night and every day and it was just like a really gentle cleanser on my skin. I didn't want to use anything that was like abrasive because I just felt like my whole face was gonna peel off like some like horror movie, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre if I tried anything that was too rough. And then I would go in with the Indie Lee QQ10 Toner. So after cleansing, you want to use this straight after, like even when your skin is still kind of damp because it just helps to rebalance the pH levels, make sure your skin is like protected and this one has sage it has chamomile green tea so like all the ingredients are basically like plant derived so once again I was like totally in love with this plus it's like a cool travel size so you just kind of spritz it all over your face I would spray like five to six um, sprays of this it smells really good as well hold on what does this smell like <laughs> yeah 
refreshing. And then I started using this Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream. It actually is golden. It looks like some sort of turmeric cream, um, but it smells really good. It's like very planty, but um, natural kind of like organic smells. So I would use this in the morning and also at night, but even during the day, I just kept this in my bag because I noticed like my nose was peeling. It was so gross. And so I just take a little bit and reapply it over this area just to like rehydrate it. And then it's funny, I never thought I'd be a person who like carries around soap. Like I'm not a germaphobe or anything like that, but like living in the city, if you're on like the subway and stuff, I found this hand soap just to like carry around in my bag and thought it was really helpful. You know, everywhere you go, if you go to the toilet, just to like wash your hands with this thing, it was like super convenient. And you can use it on your body, it's 100% toxic free as well, so everything about it is just like clean living. So if you guys are interested in trying this out as well, I have a code for you guys, hooked you up, and you'll actually get more than 50% off and get this whole kit for $22, so use Coffee and Cashmere and just go to fallane.com slash Coffee and Cashmere. First 100 people to get on that now, and I hope you guys try it out because yeah, it really like saved my life. It really saved my life. By the way, I got a tattoo. Jerks. <laughs> it's like, you know, the sticker ones that you use when you're like eight years old. Anyway, story time over. <laughs> Heading to Soho. <laughs> it's so cold. And we're in Little Italy cause it's only like 10 minutes walk from where we are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we're going boot hunting. Do you know where any of them are? General direction is that way. <laughs> I'm so cold. This is the typical green wall of every single construction in New York City. And a random car bumper. Anyone? So according to our weather woman, Leslie, <laughs> It'll be dark in 14 minutes. It is currently 4... 31. 4.31. Oh my god, it's so sad! The days are so short! Are we into these huge puffy marshmallow sweaters? This is scary. Why? I do not understand. <laughs> oh, how about this cap? <laughs> so we step out and it's almost dark, but you can see the moon, guys. Look at that. So it's plastic like, bottles. Wow, recyclable plastic. They're all just bottles. Oh my god, look how dry my hands are right now. Ew. Wait, so all this is made from recycled plastic. We're like the black yeti witches. It's the only way to walk around here. So cold. And look who we're third wheeling ah. with. Thomas and his mom. No. <laughs> the only woman in his life. Oh. Ah. So this is just the humidifier that I got off Amazon. And you can like control how much is coming out so if I turn it down it'll just be like a little bit but seeing as it's been so dry I like to just turn it on full steam so I really find that the humidifier helps with hydrating your skin but especially with my throat because I realize when it's in the winter like my throat gets really dry during the night to the point where I wake up in a like a coughing fit so if any of you guys have 
dehydrated skin or your like just everything about you is starting to feel a little dry, I would highly suggest you get a humidifier because it like restores hydration in the air. So yeah, with this I just kind of smear it all on. It kind of just feels like a really thick moisturizer, but it's not like pore clogging or anything. I also use this when I have the rash as well and it just really helped with putting like moisture back into my face. And then I like to just put on some of this Glossier Balm.com and it's the mint one. So that is end of our day one and I'll probably vlog for the rest of the day. I'll probably vlog for another couple of days, see what we can put together. I honestly don't know what this is going to be, but yeah, that is all for tonight. Good night. You can use it. One day you will appreciate what I did. Look at this. That's what I will appreciate. <laughs> Felicia's favorite soup. Tohu! Cheers! <laughs> Clappity clap. Okay, I look like I'm presenting the news. Okay, hey guys, we've talked a lot about finding the best skincare to avoid breakouts. Hey guys, welcome back. So, so what? So both of us have been using like our favorites. No, what am I trying to do? All these. So both of us, my head looks flat. Okay, I think that's it. How's the filming? Me home. Hey guys, okay, so just got home and walking in the rain and my hair is greasy again. I don't know how it gets greasy so quickly. So uncooperative. Okay, so just showered by the way, wearing Beauty Within represent. Yeah, oh my god, let me just hydrate my lips. Moisturizing the face and neck. Maybe some people don't really concentrate on the neck because they think youth is forever, but actually I'm 25 now and I have realized that I'm starting to develop lines on my neck. So I can tell you now, age is definitely upon us, but it's not something to stress over. The skin on your face actually like listens to the motions that you you so you always want to like go upwards very gently and then on the neck as well are you happy neck are you happy if you're happy i'm happy